Good morning, and welcome to Friday Morning Nameless. I'm Chad the Alcoholic, and uh, today I wanted to share with you a letter that I got. Now, yesterday I asked uh, Gavin, Hero LFG, if he could uh, run this prompt into his chat GTP or GPT4 uh, account, <clears throat> and... I'll read you the prompt, and then I'll read you the letter. The letter is, or the prompt is, in the context, the context is C.S. Lewis, screw, t screw tape letters. Generate a new screw tape letter in which he is advising Wormwood on the best ways to achieve his tasks going into 2024. And here's the letter. Dear my, uh, my dear Wormwood, as we enter into 2024, I must first commend you on your persistence in attempting to corrupt your patient. The world has changed significantly since my last letter, and so we must also adopt our, uh, adopt our, adapt our tap. Good grief! It's four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> All right, let me see. The world has changed significantly since my last letter, and so we must also adapt our tactics. To help you in this endeavor, I will provide you with some fresh advice. Firstly, the increased dependence on technology continues to be a fertile ground for temptation. Encourage your patient to become increasingly absorbed in their screens and virtual world worlds. Foster a sense of isolation from their fellow humans, as we have found that loneliness is an excellent breeding ground for despair, anger, and selfishness. By disconnecting them from the re from real human interaction. You will make it easier to manipulate their thoughts and emotions. Secondly, exploit their growing distrust in institutions and expertise. Encourage your patient to believe that they are the sole arbiter of truth, that they alone can discern the objective reality. This will not only inflate their ego, but... <clears throat> It will also make them more susceptible to conspiracy theories and misinformation. By fostering a disdain for authority, you can effectively serve their con uh, sever their connection to the enemy's truth and wisdom. Next, focus on the climate of fear and anxiety that pervades the world. Constantly remind your patient of the uncertainties and potential disasters that could befall them. The more you can keep them in a state of fear, the more control you will have over their actions. Fear can lead to anger, and anger can lead to hatred, and ultimately, to the dark side. Moreover, take advantage of the increasing polarization in society. Encourage your patient to dehumanize those with opposing views, making it easier for them to justify hostility and hatred. This is an excellent way to create division and weaken the bonds of love and unity that the enemy so desires. On the matter of love, do not forget that it is one of the most powerful weapons of the enemy. Your task here is twofold. Either convince your patient that love is a mere illusion, a fleeting chemical reaction with no deeper meaning, or corrupt their understanding of love by making them believe it is solely about self-gratification and possessiveness. In doing so, you'll prevent them from experiencing the transformative power of the, of the enemy's love. Lastly, Wormwood, Never underestimate the power of, of apathy. Encourage your patient 
to adopt a live and let live mentality, whereby they care little for the welfare of others or the consequences of their actions. This attitude will serve to distance them from the enemy's call to a life of purpose, service, and sacrifice. In conclusion, my dear nephew, your task in 2024 is to deepen the roots of isolation, distrust, fear, polarization, and apathy in your patient's heart. By doing so, you'll weaken their connection to the enemy and make it easier for them to be drawn into our clutches. I eagerly await your progress. Your affectionate uncle, Screwtape. So, that's pretty crazy. Uh, let's see what you think about it. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, buy stuff. I don't know.